Hey guys, welcome back. We are starting a new series today. We're back on the WTReplays.com site and we're going to sort things a little bit differently here. Um, we're going to look at nation by nation, all right? Not tier for tier. We've already analyzed from tier 10 down to tier 4, but we're going to look at the USSR, we're going to look at Germany, we're going to look at USA, we're going to look at France, and the UK. Those are the nations that have full tank lineups. Some of the other nations uh, uh, don't have the full tank lineup. So we're going to stick with those. And we're going to start with the USSR. Russia. And um, rather than go th through things tier for tier, just bear with me here. You'll see. We're going to analyze things. We're going to try and figure out which are the best tanks to grind, which are the best uh, lines you should go down. We're not going to click any of these uh, tier levels to sort things. Okay. We're just going to show all the replays. And then we're going to look at them for damage assist, damage blocked, and damage done. Now let's just start here. This is pretty simple, right? If I press this assist, all of these results are going to be the T100 LT. It's the tier 10 light tank. Obviously, it has all the top damage assist games, all on the same map. So you know which map to get your damage assist mission done. If I now sort this, and uh, say you only have tier 9 tanks, which tank should you use to do the damage assist mission? Well, obviously the T-54 Lightweight. It's got all of them. Look at that. That makes sense, right? There's no, nothing uh, weird here. Close, why are you doing this? Well, bear with me. If you have only tier 8 tanks, obviously the LTTB... Oh, no, no, you have to buy an LT-432. <laughs> if you only have tier 8 tanks and you want to do a damage assist mission, the best one to use is the LT-432. And that seems pretty straightforward, and uh, it's what you would expect. There was a little T44-100 got in there. But uh, trust me when I say that uh, it, when we look at the other nations, it's not so simple. Now, block damage. We're going to sort on block damage. And the king of block damage for the USSR is the IS-4. Top result. Second highest block damage, Object 430U, a medium tank. Wow. Okay. Third highest block damage, ST-1, which is the same line as the IS-4. Uh, then the next one is the ST-1, then uh, an Object 703 here, an IS-4 next, a Defender, Tier 8, wow. Another IS-4, uh, an ISM, and an IS-4. So obviously, the if you want to grind a line to block damage, do those block damage missions, grind the IS-4 line. Now, that's, that's the he most heavily armored line in the Russian uh, tech tree, uh, but I'm surprised to see the IS-4 up there. Uh, as much. I'm trying to do a block 10,000 mission with the IS-7. Can't do it so far. So that's uh, good to know. But what if you've only got up to tier 9 tanks? Which one should you pick? Obviously the ST-1. It's in the Everything is making sense in this Russian tech tree. Everything is making sense. There's an Object 705. There's an Object 777. Oh, that's the new reward. Interesting. Uh, another object. It's filled with object IS-3-2. ST-1. ST1, Object 263, ST1. ST1, huge, powerful turret. Use that one to do your blocked damage mission if you only have up to Tier 9 tanks. What if you only have up to Tier 8? This is going to be interesting. Which Tier 8 tank should you use if you have to try and do that mission to block damage? Any tank you want. <laughs> as long as you buy it. Object 703 version 2, Defender. ISM, well, that's a tech tree tank. SU-101, oh, okay, that's interesting. KV-4, yes. Uh, even a light tank, an LT-432, why not use that one? <laughs> Basically, any Russian tank you want to use at Tier 8, uh, you can um, end up with one of the highest block damage games. <laughs> but KV-4, a lot of KV-4s in there. And obviously that line, the IS-4 line, is the king of the block damage line. What about damage done? Well... Why did the chicken cross the road? Let's click on damage. Object 279E. <laughs> Object 279E. Object 279E again. <laughs> Object 279. Object 705A. First tech tree tank. Object uh, 279. Uh, Object 260 reward tank. Object 907, reward tank. Object 277, a tech tree tank. Two of them. And then another Object 279. So basically, you got to get a reward tank <laughs> to get some of the top damage results. But here's one thing that uh, you should notice here. 
the top 10 damage games are dominated by heavy tanks on the Russian tech tree. And this is not the case when you look at the other nations. And I think this is because the Russian heavy tanks are basically, uh, they have armor, they're fast, uh, they have higher alpha guns than the uh, medium tanks uh, with just as good gun handling. So that's an interesting uh, little observation there that uh, top 10 results dominated by the heavy tanks. Where are the medium tanks in the top 10 damage results? Where are the tank destroyers? So uh, f the friendly class in the uh, Russian tech tree, heavy tanks. What if you've only got up to tier nine, which tank uh, gets uh, the honors as the top damage done? Object 257, that's uh, interesting. I thought maybe T10. Object 263, Object 705, IS2, ST1. T-54, an assortment of tanks, IS-32, Object 77, Object 704, ST-1. Like, once again, dominated by heavy tanks, uh, an assortment of heavy tanks, any good player in a Russian heavy tank. So let's go to Tier 8. Well, you have to buy one of these, or 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 one of these. You basically have to buy a tank, or one of these, right? <laughs> Go out and buy a premium tank and try and get the top. Uh, look at that. They're all premium tanks. And pretty much all heavy. A couple of uh, SU-130 PM. Uh, but what we've learned here is that the the top performing tanks on the Russian tech tree are generally the heavy tanks. <laughs> but let's go back here. We're gonna, we obviously have to watch a game. We're going to sort here and we're going to watch the top damage game that's not a reward tank. The object 705A. And then we're going to watch the object 277. We're going to watch those two games. And what did we learn? Uh, I guess we learned that the Russian tech tree is uh, working as planned. Uh, the light tanks are working as planned. The higher tier light tank you have, uh, the better the results are. The best tier 8 light tank is the one you have to buy. As far as damage blocked, it's the most heavily armored line that leads to the IS-4, which consistently ranks uh, in the top for damage blocked results. And for damage done, it's... Uh, uh, the best uh, overall tanks are the reward tanks that are given to the best players at tier 10. At tier 9 results are dominated by heavy tanks. Tier 8 results are dominated by heavy tanks that you have to buy. All working as intended. And these heavy tanks have armor. They have higher alpha guns with just as good gun handling as some medium tanks. Or at least when RNG says yes, they have just as good handling. Now, when we start looking at the other nations, the results are not what you would expect. Uh, th their results are not dominated by heavy. Well, I won't give you any spoilers. Uh, this uh, series will unfold. Wait till we go through the German and the US tech tree. You will be surprised. But at least maybe you gleaned a little bit of information. Like if you want to do a block damage mission and you're going down the IS-7 line, you're going to have a harder time than if you're going down the IS-4 line. You've learned that. And you've learned that if you want to do the spotting mission, you just get the highest tier um, <laughs> Wait, we just missed it. Gato. Yeah, this is the highest damage game done by uh, anyone in a Russian tank. <laughs> we missed the first kill. Let's just introduce who's playing here. It's Kron from the Czech clan playing his Object 705A. The highest damage game for any Russian tank, uh, non-reward tank. There's Object 279E games that are better. But regular tech tree tank, top damage game. We're going to watch him. And let me just babble for a little bit uh, longer here. If you want to do the damage um, uh, assist mission, just get yourself the highest tier, grind the highest tier uh, Russian light tank you can. That makes sense. Or if you're, uh, you know, if you want to get over with fast, just uh, buy yourself a LT-432. <laughs> and um, yeah, that, that's about it. Now let's enjoy watching the game. We're going to watch this game, the Object 705A. and. I don't want to make the vi video too long because I did this series, the Broken Tank series, where we looked at tier for tier, the most powerful tanks. And I showed two games per video, and some of the videos went to 30. Snap! <laughs> 732. Some of the videos were over 30 minutes long, and I got some messages. They're like, who wants to listen to Klaus for 30 freaking minutes in the morning? And I understand. We're going to watch this game today and tomorrow. <clears throat> Tomorrow's video will be the Object uh, 277 game. Let's just watch this game. And what we've l what we've learned so far that you've been watching is that uh, you get yourself a Tier 10 Russian tank. You shoot premium ammo. He's pressed 2 right at the beginning of this game. And you can just uh, fight uh, the Tier 10 German tanks and just, you know, shoot them in the front like this. Oh. The German line is so satisfying. <laughs> 
And that's the way this game is designed, is that uh, Russian heat can penetrate easily through the front of German turrets. That's just how the game is designed, uh, whereas uh, German heat does not necessarily penetrate, or German APCR does not penetrate Russian turrets. So there. So far, this guy's playing a, an amazing game. This this poor mouse just doesn't know. He's, okay, angle your turret. He's trying, but he just can't. Right? He's not a very good mouse player. You're gonna say, oh, close. If he was angled, then he would, you know, he would survive. Yeah, but if also if if he was angled, he can't shoot, right? So now he's angled. Now he's angled. See? Now he's angled. See? Now now that's how you're supposed to play a mouse. Ah, the mouse, the mouse, the mouse. This video is not about the mouse, but man, playing a tank, grinding to tier 10 so that you can fight tanks like this and you're the weakest when you're aiming at them is just excruciating. But anyway, this player is playing this Object 705A just perfectly. This is a side-scraping beast, but as well has fantastic front armor. Even if you screw up and you're not side-scraping, you still have the chance of bouncing. Like, oh, there's like Mao Shin showed his lower... Well, this he's got no hope, right? There's no chance. The guy's got no chance. No chance. He's at 4,000 damage. He's just getting started. And he's playing cautiously and perfectly with this. He's Spam nothing but premium ammo. And can he take this shot here? Oh, he got the side of his counterpart. You see that guy? His counterpart, he is side scraped and hull down. And his counterpart was sideways. How did that penetrate close? That was heat. Shouldn't it be absorbed by the spaced armor on that guy's side? No, no, uh, Russian heat does not get absorbed. German heat gets absorbed. Yeah, we're not going to get into that discussion, but uh, uh, play the T-54, and he's not going to pen that shot. Load heat in your T-54 and shoot the sides and tracks of vehicles you just pen and you kill them. Russian heat does not get absorbed. Take the, yeah, take this guy out. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Is he going to take a hit for it? Is he? Yes, he took a hit for it. He self-sacrificed. He sacrificed his side to take that guy out, but now he's bounced the grille. Of course he's bounced the grilly. Now this teammate is in his way. Take him. Yeah. Yes, Parabizia. Yeah, yeah. Heat right through side. But the, he lowered. He, he aimed below the spaced armor and above the track. So it was a perfect shot. Now his teammate is going in in his Polish tank. He's, just take that guy out, will you? He had to do it. Gatov! You did it but the Russia. This is a beautiful game. Beautiful game. Wonderful to watch. It's still close. It's 7-6. There's still a lot of enemies. He's up over 6,000 damage. He's more than that. And now what does he do? It's 7-7. It's a tie game. He's basically won his corner. Can he take this shot? Of course. As you can see, uh, the weakness of this tank, because it's so heavily armored and, and so uh, massively powerful uh, armor-wise, uh, that the, it's the gun handling that's the weakness. You see? Did, did you notice that? You have to aim fully or you're going to miss. <laughs> and if you believe that, I've got some uh, swamp land in Florida I want to sell you. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> take it, take it. Oh, that's just a track wheel. That's not going to... Ooh, maybe if he pressed the trigger. See, he aimed. He aimed that shot and that gave the Tiger II time to back up. The Tiger II's sixth sense probably went off and he backed up. Aiming just decreases your DPM, buddy. Shoot, shoot, shoot! Aiming decreases your DPM. Now, to be fair, when we watch these extreme results, these amazing games, this is why uh, I don't normally do this on the channel. I don't feature just these amazing games because they give you a false impression of how it works. Because uh, let me let me finish my thought here. Uh, because the most extreme game like this. It's always got the ingredients, I mean, other than the enemy team of Muppets and team of Muppets on your side that don't really do a lot of damage. There's a couple of ingredients that, that you see. It's the amazing RNG, because let's face it, when RNG says yes, when you hit three, four, five, six snapshots or unnamed shots, and they all hit, that's when you have the extreme game, right? When you uh, 
face sideways and the enemies are shooting you and you get lucky bounce, lucky bounce, lucky bounce, and you stay alive. That all adds to the possibility of having an extreme game. So when you watch nothing but those the best games, when you watch those features, oh, you should grind the Object 705A line, and then uh, you just watch this game. You know, I do a video, the, the Tech Tree Showcase, look at the Object 7, and I show you this game. You're going to go, wow! It's incredible, right? He's snapping those. But this is the extreme. This is when all of RNG says yes. All of Russia says yes. And when uh, enemies uh, bounce everything, they low roll all their uh, penetration shots. They bounce everything. All the ingredients come together and you see this amazing game and this amazing result. Then you get yours and you move to the same corner and you pull around the side and, and someone shoots you and they pen your turret. And you go, what? Well, they high rolled their pen and you weren't angled right and then you're on fire and then you're shot you try and not aim and you miss and you go my gun handling's not this and you know the RNG shits on you or you get average RNG and you can't hope to <laughs> that guy's dumb to pull for you can't hope to uh, duplicate this result because the extreme result is dripping with uh, just fantastic RNG and enemies that low roll their pen. You know what I mean by low roll their pen, right? That's RNG as well. When you shoot your gun, your penetration is a number, but it's plus or minus 25%. If the enemies have terrible RNG rolls on their penetration, you know, bounce, 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 bounce. Your armor's working perfectly. Well, they're, they're all rolling uh, through no fault of their own. The game just decide, <laughs> Yes, Pramitsya. High roll, 897. Yeah, Pramitsya. Right? RNG. All the RNG is on his side. So that's why I don't normally just show these extreme games. Because really, you don't learn anything from them. You don't really get the true sense of the tank. But it's fun, so we're going to watch it. Snap! See? Ulistola. Russian shells always hit aim dot. Now, funny enough, that is uh, 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 almost true. <laughs> Let's keep watching. 11.10. You got to admit, you're jealous now, right? You're thinking, why can't I have a game like this? Now, this is, I have to say, shout out to this guy, because he is not facing an enemy team of Muppets. I mean, other than that Raviolet and uh, this guy right here. <laughs> well, I forgot about the object. And the tiger shooting HE and roll zero. Did you notice that? Tiger HE, zero. <laughs> Not even a splash of damage. Did you notice that? The Tiger. <laughs> he shot HE at him. Oh my. And he rolled zero. He didn't even do one damage. He didn't even track him. <laughs> ah, well. Incredible, incredible. Like, is that Raviole going to poke again? Are you going to poke out uh, this massive Russian gun? See, the artillery missed. How did he miss? Like, uh, RNG. How would that shot? Do you see where that artillery shot landed? He had like 40 seconds to aim. You, you will never duplicate this game. You will never duplicate this game. But it is fun. And I'm excited to see what happens. I, I'm watching this live with you guys. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm excited to do the commentary for the Object 277 game uh, tomorrow because that's going to be a hell of a game, I think. That's going to, that's a medium, uh, snap it! Oh. And I'm going to grind the Object 277 because it uh, does consistently have very good results. Can he take this shot? Can he? Oh, the artillery moved and he, sh he, he shook his, um, did he get hit before he pulled the trigger? He shook his mouse there just before he fired. I think he's a little nervous. He's they're actually let's watch this game. This is incredible. It's it's 12:13. What could happen here, guys? This is uh it's very close. There's 2 minutes and 30 seconds left. You need muppets. You need muppets. You need enemy muppets. There's one. <laughs> what are you doing, artillery? Got off. No need to aim. And this poor French, what is this poor French tier 8 tank going to do? Well, obviously, he's not going to fight this heavily armored Russian tank from the front, right? He's not going to do that. You're not going to fight the Russian tank from the front, are you? Snap! <laughs> he is. 
plink. Watch, watch his shot. Plink. Come on, plink one. He's aiming. Aiming. Uh, Ravioli. <laughs> Holy shit, you know, it, they may not win. There's an EBR left. Snap! snap a -rooney. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I think the only chance they have now is to cap. They're, they're never going to catch. They're never going to catch that uh, wheeled vehicle. It's going to be a draw. That Udez has to get in the cap. What, the, what the hell is the Udez doing? Go cap. You've all, and he's pinging the map. There's only a minute and 32 seconds. He does not have... Enough time to cap for himself. They both need to cap to achieve victory here. Can you imagine he's got over 11,000 damage and he's going to end up with a draw because he has a Muppet Udez on his team? Are you freaking kidding me? Udez, get in the cap. Minute 12 seconds. They still have time if they both get in there. What are you doing? 45 seconds to cap if they both get in the cap. What is the Udez doing? Get in the cap! Oh my god! Now this is when we have to thank the diversity in the universe. The law of entropy. The law of dispersion. The law that dictates how the universe works. How everything is random and disperses equally. For every clueless, pathetic, hopeless Muppet on your team, driving an Udez 3, who does not realize that he has to cap to try and win the game, that's going to hang you out to dry in a game that you've done 11,000 damage and end up in a draw. For every Muppet that you get on your team like that, the universe has its way of being elegant and true. Just like Einstein said, the simplest explanations are the most elegant. For every Muppet that you have on your team that could make you draw a game in which you've done 11,000 damage, the universe balances things out for you. The universe provides a Muppet on the enemy team that gets himself spotted with one second left to allow you to achieve victory. Look at these results, guys. The top damage game, this patch by a Russian tank, over 11,000 damage. <laughs> Lost credits because he spammed He like a motherfucker. Join me tomorrow. We're going to watch the Object 277 game. And then we're going to continue the series. We're going to do Germany, the USA, France, and the UK. Catch you tomorrow, guys, for more of the same.